So what are contours? Contours are the boundary of an object. Let's take for example this marker. So let's say we want to define the contours of this marker. So we will need to take all these points like this down here and then this line and draw them all the boundaries and let's see how to to do this so we're going to detect this object by the color once we detect the object we are going to draw the contours of this object in the original video frame so let's see an example we import cv2 import numpy as mp then we define the camera cap equals to cv2.video capture 0 we need to define an infinite loop while true underscore frame equals cv2 no oh, sorry cap dot read then let's show now the frame cv2 dot im show frame then key equals cv2 dot weight key uh, one if key equals 27 so the ask key on the keyboard we break the loop cap dot release to release the camera and cv2 dot destroy all windows let's run contours okay here we have the code which is just only taking the frames from the camera let's now detect the object by the color so we as we saw in some previous video we need to create a range of color spaces so first we need to convert the frame to let's say hsv so hsv it's equals to cv2 dot cvt color so we're going to change the color format of the frame so frame and cv2 color underscore bgr2 hsv once we have hsv we need to define a range of lower blue and upper blue so lower blue it's equals to np.array and let's define a minimum so low h is uh, 38 low s 86 and low v it's zero of course you might have different values i just calculated this before uh, it depends on the lighting of or, or the color so this is now this probably will work just for me upper blue it's equals to np.array so we have upper h121 255 and 255 so from this range we create a mask mask it's equals to cv2.in range the hsv and the range will be lower blue and upper blue so for this i can cv2 him show show the mask mask and then mask uh, here is the mask for the marker so the, the white part is what actually I am allowing. Once we have this, we can already find the contours of the mask. So the contours will be all these white objects, 
on the boundaries of these white objects. So let's first, first we need to get them and then draw them. So we need two functions. First we get them. So let's type underscore, comma, contours, comma, underscore, equals. A quick explanation why we have underscore. So the, the function find contours returns us three values. And the second one is contours and first and third one, we don't need them right now. So that's why we just put underscore cv2 dot find contours we're looking for the contours on the mask the mode is cv2 dot three red underscore three and method cv2 dot chain chain approx none It's not really important to know what's the difference with this red tree and the other one, for example, red list. Most of the time we're going to use these ones and I mean some more advanced video, it will be necessary to do some explanation. But for now, it's just necessary to know that this function returns us the contours of the boundaries of the white objects in the mask. After we have these points, uh, first, actually, let's print them and let's see what we get. I will give more space between each frame, so one second, so we will not have a lot of stuff printed here. Okay. So this is what it's printing, like actually just points points in the image and now we are going to draw these points so now let's draw the contours so we have the function cv2 dot draw contours on the frame then we need to pass contours so actually this one that we detect before and now we're going to draw them then minus one here uh, we have many contours so for example if we have different objects we will have many arrays with different contours you can decide if we draw only the first or the second and so on or if you just put minus one it is going to draw all of them then the color the color it's bgr format so we need to define three colors zero of blue 255 of green because I want to draw green contours and then zero of red. Finally, we define the thickness, let's say three. Let's run the code. And here we have the contours for the object. We can do some improvement. For example, as you see, there is noise on the image. We could, for example, uh, apply some filters so, like Gaussian blur. Let's do that. So instead of frame, actually, no, let's create blur frame. It's equals to CV2 dot Gaussian blur frame then the kernel let's say 5 5 and sigma 0 so the HSV color which we're going to work on will be take, taken from the blurred flame and not from the frame and that's all for the blur let's now run the code now you can see some big improvement on the mask and the fact that we don't have as much noise as we had before. Another thing, for example, we want to detect only the marker. 
one way is that we see that the marker is the biggest object here so we can say for example let's check the area if the area is greater than some number we will show we will draw the contours if not we are not going to draw them so after contours we can say something like for contour in contours so we are looping through each one of them let's calculate the area so for of each one of them so area it's equals to cv2 dot con contour no, sorry, area okay contour area contour let's say for example actually first let's print the area and let's see what we get print area let's loop only each second and here we have many different contours we have something with area like over 5000 over 1000 and then really small one this is mostly the noise things that we don't want to detect so let's say for example if the area if area is greater than 1000 then cv2 only in that case we're going to draw the contour draw contour we're going to draw contours on the frame contour minus one color let's say green again zero two fifty five zero thickness three and we don't need this function anymore because we're going to draw contour one by one let's run the code uh, so this one weight key must be one okay there is also my glass the, my lens because uh, for sure the area is greater than 1000 but look this result how great is this so we remove actually all the noise by just taking bigger objects I can remove the glass for example if I say greater than maybe 5000 okay I remove the glass but also the object when, when it's far okay the area it's really small when it gets closer there it gets over 5000 so you can see the detection how it works and there are many uh, other advanced functions for example as it's common you can see for example when OpenCV is tracking cars you don't see exactly the contours of the, of the car but you will see just a rectangle that moves along with the car and we're going to see that as well in some other video about contours and this is all for now and thanks for watching